It looks like my hair is catching on fire, but it's just a candle. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe I should move it. Hi everybody, my name is Rosalie and welcome back to my channel, Back to Chubby. I am finally back home in my dining room and once again I was too lazy to clean off the dining room table so <laughs> here's this background for you. Anyway, today is another weigh-in and vlog. Um, actually yesterday was my weigh-in day but things got a little crazy and I didn't have a chance to record the rest of the video so <sighs> let's just do the weigh-in. Hello. It's ready. Three hundred and ninety nine point four pounds. Okay, so this week was a game. It's not a big gain, but it's enough of a gain to be, well, any gain, really, when you're trying to lose weight is disheartening. I'm going to look on the bright side. Uh. Um. Okay. Bright side. I'm still under 400. Which is good. I'm not as far away from 400 as I want to be. I'm not as down as far as I want to be. Um, my goal was to either lose two pounds or just not gain weight while I was gone. Neither of those happened. So that I'm um, a little annoyed about. But again, I'm still under 400. Also on the bright side, today, uh, this video actually is my two month anniversary on YouTube. So it's been two months since I started this channel. Um, I'm gonna have to do the math off screen because I just didn't even think about it, but I have lost this much total, which is this much percent of my body weight, and which is this much percent of my goal. So that's great, and in that whole time this is my first setback, so that's good, I guess. I mean, if you've had any experience with dieting, you know there's setbacks, there just are. You can't just always lose weight. I wish you could. I'm sure some people do. It's not been my experience. <laughs> More often than not, it does not go as smoothly as it has the past two months. More often than not, for me, in the past. And I think I'm going to do another video where I just talk about every diet I've tried, because I've tried a lot. Um, more often than not, in the past, the you, know, you go down, and then you go up, then you go down some more, and then you go up some more, and then you go down some more, and then you go up, and then maybe you go up, and then maybe you give up and stop. So, we're gonna keep moving forward, I'm gonna keep going. I know that there are several things that contributed, contributed to it this week. I tried to do well, I tracked everything, I never went over my calories. But I went over my sodium almost every fracking day. So, I know that's probably part of it. Um, that time of the month might or might not be coming. If you have PCOS, you might be familiar with this scenario. I don't know when it's that time of the month. Sometimes it just shows up. Sometimes it doesn't show up for like a couple months. So, that might be part of it. Stress might be part of it. Traveling might be part of it. Sodium might be part of it. There's a lot of different factors that go into it, but All I can do is keep trying. Okay, so since We can't talk about scale victories today. Let's just focus on the non-scale victories. I feel like this is getting a little bit smaller. It's not quite as Just round if you know what I mean like I feel like it was lower and wider before this double chin of mine um you can see it doesn't go back as far either because it did go down here so that's cool that's cool trying real hard to stay positive <laughs> and that's just not always 
not always gonna happen. So, okay, so let's switch gears a little bit. My long-term goal, still the same as ever, 158 pounds. My short-term goal is still 391.5 pounds by December 12th, and that's still doable, so that's good. My immediate-term goals are to drink enough water. Up until now, I've been doing pretty good about it. This past week, it was a little bit of a struggle, so that could also have contributed to this number this week. But my immediate term goals are to drink enough water and to get back down at least to the weight I was last week. So to lose on a different note, to celebrate my two months on YouTube and to celebrate having so many subscribers. <laughs> I was going to wait until we got to 10,000 subscribers, but Every time I was going to wait until we hit our next milestone subscribers, you guys surpassed that before I got a chance to make a video. So thank you guys so much for all of your support. Thank you. To show my thanks, um, I'm doing another giveaway and it is going to be my scale. So a lot of you have asked about my super awesome scale. Um, Oh. <laughs> this is my scale. And a lot of you have seen it before. Um, and anybody watching this video just saw it a little bit ago. But Goodbye. bye. The reason I picked this one is because it's really hard to find one that is accurate over 300 pounds. And this one goes up to 700 pounds. It also zeroes itself out when you press the little Hello. button down here. It talks to you, as you just heard. If you, if you can't bend over really well to see the numbers or if bending around shifts your weight. So this one will just tell you how much you weigh. Um, it does both pounds and kilograms. And Goodbye. the other reason I picked it is because it's so wide. So if you can see, my shoulders are this wide, well, this wide, and it is just as wide. So you can stand with like a wide, comfortable, Goodbye. you can stand with like a wide, comfortable stance on it and not, like I have some balance issues and um, like my knee moves around in the socket so I can't stand with my legs real close together because I'm all wobbly, which makes it harder to get an accurate number. So. This is wide enough to just stand with your feet shoulder width apart and get an accurate weight. The entire thing will be handled through Amazon completely random, so I'll have no control over who wins. It'll run for a week or until someone wins. If it, nobody wins in the next week, then I will go ahead and extend it another week. I will go ahead and put a link down to it in the description box, and I will also put a QR code somewhere on screen for anyone to scan with your phone and just be taken right there. You can also share the giveaway with other people. Um, on social media and since we're on that topic you can follow me on social media and I'll put the links down to that below as well let me know down in the comments below how you handle it when the scale goes not the way you want it to and <laughs> um, follow along with me if you want to see my meal prep video next week or my weigh-in next week to see whether or not I hopefully fixed this being positive thank you guys and just gotta keep moving forward i'll see you next week